Uh, so today we'll try to create a DMN and deploy it on the Kamuna interface and we'll try to execute from our postman. Okay, so DMN is nothing but a ruling engine. It's basically a simple if else condition, but in the tabular form. So for that, first we need to download a modeler provided by the Kamuna team. So simply search for Kamuna modeler in the first link and then you can download any version but open source is what i recommend because it is continuously getting upgraded based on its huge developer base and after downloading and extracting files you will get something like this so in that if you open this kamunla modeler.exe that is that is the tool in which we are going to draw all the stuff so let me open that and this is what it's a default interfaces so today we are going to create a new dmn okay so this is how a basic dmn looks like okay so the scenario in which uh, which we are going to work today is we'll simply try to get an input from the user and we'll say whether it is a positive negative or zero as simple as that okay so let's uh, so in our scenario we have only one input we'll try to give uh, input to input label this is just what we see okay this is what we see on uh, on the screen and this is the variable num user uh, what we can give okay input one so the value which user is going to give us that we are going to access using input one okay now don't click on anywhere on the empty space we need to click on enter okay now the type of is integer that is fine now the first scenario is when our number click click on the empty box then click on the pencil then click on when it is equal to zero okay this is what we are expecting let me equals to zero right what happened no we want equal to zero in that case we want the output to be let's give this as a nature and name also nature so again label is what uh, we can see on the interface but internally it will um, be accessed with the value called output name which is a nature here so here we'll say nature is simply zero okay then we'll click on the next so zero don't write it manually because then we face many manual issues so click on pencil and it will tell us if you are writing string what is the format in which we need to provide the value so value is zero right now the next thing is suppose if the value is greater okay and greater than zero that's it so if it is greater than zero then our okay we'll click on pencil which is a recommended method the nature is positive okay. now the third in the final case is click on the box then click on the pencil less than zero okay in this case our nature of the string will be negative so how this rolling engine will work is if input one is zero then the output will be this if input is greater than zero then it will be positive so if you have want to have multiple uh, inputs you can have like this here you can have one more input so how this will work if input one is equal to zero and input two is whatever condition we give so how the column to column matching works is using a or so if this or this then this okay so as of now we don't need this right click on that and remove so this is what we want uh, now let's give it a num name id okay number nature sample okay okay number nature will be enough now the version tag and all that is later part but as of now this is enough let's save this okay number nature sample number nature is enough okay let's save it now since we are done with 
this part now if we see this part we have to deploy somewhere right so file save file as so I need I will copy this number nature file and I will paste in my project if this project we have uh, created in the previous video if you haven't seen it uh, please watch it so in that we have a folder called resources so under resources click on that and simply paste the file I think I haven't copied it let me paste that okay so I copied and I pasted our DMN in the nature uh, number nature dot DMN now for this to deploy I simply need to restart this and while it's restart let me open the default interface that is localhost 8080 okay let me see if the restart is done or not okay so if you see we'll get something like it is deployed it is running on post 8080 and it will try to detect right so if you see here number nature is our DMN auto deploying resources number nature so whatever it is there uh, under our resources file that is generated as a part of our target and it is auto deployed okay now let's uh, see on our interface so this is how we open localhost our port number that's it and then we'll enter the username and password that we have added in application.yml and this is our cockpit so if we see uh, the dm and the ruling engine that we kept is here so that is a decision definition so if we open we can see this is our user input this is the nature now how to uh, hit this from the postman to actually send some input and get the output is we need either decision definition id or definition key so there are different format to access this ruling engine as of now i am considering definition key so i am copying definition key i'll open postman and we will simply try to use this okay so open a, a fresh request the request that we are going to do is the post request url will be localhost 8080 followed by rest after rest the engine that we are hitting is the decision definition so decision definition definition and the attribute that we used that we copied is the definition key so we'll tell that we are sending it a key whose value is this okay we didn't copy it definition key okay we copied and we are pasting here why is not getting copied okay that is the definition key and then we'll ask it to evaluate okay now the format in which we need to send body is raw json i've already saved one let me copy that body okay so the body should be the variables and then the input that we have uh, asked it to accept is the input one so we should send va our value in the input one attribute and let's try with everything this is the value of the attribute and this is the type of attribute now let's hit this so we can see the value is zero now if we try to hit 100 we are getting positive if we try to hit minus 100 we'll get negative so that was the basic of how we uh, create a dmn deploy it on the dmn and then we try to access it or try to use the dmn for our evaluation so this was uh, complete about dmn but there are n number of other properties that we haven't covered this was a small sample in the upcoming video we'll try to create a bpmn and we'll deploy it and again we'll try to access it using postman so this ruling engine we call it as a decision definition but bpmns is a complete flow so that we call it as process definition so that's it in the video if you have any query regarding decision definition 
or what are other stuff we can do with this that you uh, you can write down in the comment section thank you